we take a look at some of the most incredible machines out there. At number 10, the numerical test tank. This very unique facility tests complex computational fluid dynamics. For the most part, it helps predict ship oscillations and calculate fixed structure wave impacts. The tank is roughly 27,000 cubic feet, and the very large wave generator can produce some very unique things, including standing waves, elusive optics, and precision-guided streams. As we all know, automation is becoming really popular, and this new machine can wrap very large bales, up to 3,300 pounds. It incorporates a hydraulic sliding frame with an extremely wide track for picking up the next bale. Auto load detects the approaching bale, lasers automatically scan the dimensions of the object, and eventually the loading arms set the bale into position. A bale sensor then measures the amount of plastic used to make sure the bale is wrapped up properly. The machine also laughs at government controlled plastic consumption by the average citizen. Contrary to the title, most machinists would probably identify this wire EDM process. A very thin single strand of conductive metal wire basically cuts through anything conductive. As the spark jumps across the conductive piece, material is removed. Accuracy is around 0.0001 inches, and this is exemplified through joining pre-cut pieces together. Ultimately, this is the perfect machine for building spaceship doors or creating elusive puzzles. Oxbow produces multiple variants which harvest anything from grapes to olives. Most of their machines feature a dyno rotor with multiple rods, and these can shake trees or bury shrubs. One of the larger variants clocks in at around 24 by 14 feet, allowing for multiple teams to be perched on the all-wheel hydrostatic drive. It would also be the perfect machine for a mobile zombie defense point. The next vehicle we cover is a very unique contraption, and it's attached to the back of a very long truck that hauls large structural components from Boeing's fabrication facility all the way to its factory. There is one driver steering this vehicle underneath the trailer, and this allows the truck to have very high maneuverability. So it can pivot around very tight corners and even back up into areas which are not accessible by a normal truck. The advantage here is that this vehicle can handle very high speeds on the highway, and the driver basically sits in this cab for the whole 70 mile trip. At number 5, the smart screw. Fasteners are typically not viewed as machines. However, the Fraunhofer is a very unique invention which can remotely provide its status. The washer incorporates a thin piezo-resistive film which registers a preload force at three different points. A change provides power to a thermoelectric generator, and this basically powers a radio module in the screw head, eventually transmitting to a ground station and letting the operator know about the status of the screw. This might seem a little bit overkill, but it's a great setup for bridges, reactors, windmills, and even power grid infrastructure. There are many different techniques used to form magnets. The cold spray technique is probably one of the most unique ways since it can be customized into any shape. It accelerates powder particles to hypersonic speeds in a gas jet. This stream then impacts a material surface and undergoes a plastic deformation, thus adhering to the surface. The cold spray technique can be used to create an electric motor. In turn, this could lead to more compact, more efficient motors in the future, with a significant lower cost of production. Reminiscent of some type of guard lookout, the Coastal Research Amphibious Buggy can measure underwater portions of sand. It stands at over 35 feet high, allowing it to go deep into the water to measure the shape of the floor, thus determining where sand needs to be placed. One major project is the Sea Isle Storm Eroded Shoreline, which is currently being restored with over three quarters of a million cubic yards of sand. The crab will continuously measure where the low spots are, until the next major storm comes along and wipes out everything. Advanced Construction Robotics has made very impressive automated equipment, and I promise you have never heard of this thing before. They have made a duality with the iron bot for placing horizontal rebar and the tie bot for tying rebar. This team of machines can place up to 5,000 pound bundles and increase productivity up to 250%, but it's currently limited to large slabs or bridge building. Both machines are expected to be released this year and it'll be interesting to see where the company goes with different variations in the future. At number one, the drift tube Linac. One vital piece of equipment that is utilized almost every day is the linear accelerator. Particles are accelerated to a very high velocity, revealing molecular structures of materials and X-ray pictures of objects. 
A linear accelerator is comprised of multiple drift tubes. Electric fields accelerate particles to the next tube, and speed is dependent on the length along with the oscillation frequency. The Linux 4 has a total of 108 tubes. It can accelerate negative ions at 400 microseconds at a time. However, it is only a component of the overall accelerator, and once completed, the LHC will collect around 10 times more data in the following decade. Hopefully it does not create any Earth-devouring black holes. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different types of machines. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.